You may be asking yourself, what am I doing up at five in the morning? Adventure. I have a full day planned. Let's see what we can get done today. Morning energy. If anybody knows me, they know that I like my energy. I am up and moving, got me some energy, energy drink, Cobra, about 21 pesos, 50 cents, you convert it to US dollars. Uh, me and my girl, we're going to go to the ferry on the Pasig River, ride it to Chinatown, and uh, yeah, see what we can find around that area. So stay tuned and let's see where we will end up. journey takes us. Made it here to Divisoria. There's a mall, there's an outdoor market, there's like fresh fish, there's phones, there's clothes, there's like anything you can name it, there's here. Uh, you don't really have to haggle, the prices are really good here. Uh, be careful, it's very congested, so there's a lot of pickpocketing. It's very vibrant, a lot of stuff, a lot of cool people, so definitely don't be afraid to talk to the locals, but just definitely watch your stuff. You know, in every area, there's always some people that aren't so good, and then there's some people that are really great. Um, but yeah, I want to see what I can get into and see what I can find. So let's see what we can get into. We made it to the Divisoria Mall. It's kind of like a cheap, you know, mall where you can get a lot of cool stuff. It's like a Chinese mall. So we're gonna walk around there and try to see what we can find. Rocking out here in the Philippines, getting those beats down and those prices. We got a wet market down here at the bottom. It's really cool. You can get fresh fish, uh, shrimp, chicken, pork, beef. Pig leg. <laughs> Definitely check this out. Walk into Chinatown is definitely exciting. Very, very packed roads. Very packed. One thing the Philippines has tons of is old Baroque style churches. They're beautiful. Um, they kind of remind me if you've ever been to Mexico City, the same type of architecture there. Um, I didn't record anything inside, uh, I don't like to bother people when they're praying, I think it just shows respect, um, but I can show you a quick video of the outside of it, um, 
yeah, it's just beautiful. It, when you come to the Philippines, you always find amazing churches here. Uh, I have to stop at all of them. Every time I see them, they're just beautiful. That is the, one of the churches. The best view that I can get without standing in the road. Walking towards Chinatown. Now, this is one of the oldest Chinatowns in the world. Um, you can look that up online. It's It's got a lot of history. A lot of good food, a lot of uh, culture. Um, first time I've actually been to the Chinatown in the Philippines. I've done a lot in Metro Manila, but I always put this last on my list because we have so many Chinatowns in the United States. Uh, but I'm really glad we came. I've seen a lot of really cool stuff. Uh, I'm going to go try to find some food and then uh, see what else I can get into. So we stopped in Chinatown to eat uh, some food in a place is called uh, Chungki. They have on the menu uh, a thing called soup number five. So soup number five is soup made with bull testicles and penis, and people drink it to get better sexual performance. Um, yeah, uh, very interesting. I've actually never seen it on a menu, but uh, I guess we are in Chinatown, so uh, yeah. So they started bringing our food out. Looks amazing. Yeah, can't wait to dig in. Got some shakes. I'm gonna try that in a minute. This shake is amazing. Real. Happy Delicious Kitchen. It's better than Sad Disgusting Kitchen. I recommend this one over that one. Best Fortune Hotel. That's interesting. Bet your day is not as hard as that guy's day. No complaints. Just a beast. Alright, I made it back in one piece. Totally recommend the ferries. Saves a lot of time. They're running it free until April. Uh, they're kind of test running it to see how many locals and foreigners actually would use it. Tons of people are going to use it. I can tell you why traffic's horrible. It probably would have took me an hour and a half to get there from Pasig to Chinatown. Uh, it only took me maybe 30 minutes. Uh, it's super awesome. You see some scenic views. They've cleaned up the river a lot, so I totally recommend that. Um, even when they start charging, I think it'll be worth it. Chinatown, one of the oldest Chinatowns. A lot of cool history, a lot of cool architecture, a lot of cool shops. Food was delicious. Uh, if you're ever over there and the markets and stuff, you can get a t-shirt for really cheap, you can get a cell phone, you can get um, electronics. Be careful with some of this stuff, it is counterfeit. Like if you buy a memory card, it may not be that actual size even if they show it to you. Uh, sometimes if it seems too good to be true, it probably is, but you can get some good shirts and you can get some other cool electronics, maybe some chargers, uh, headphones. Really cool, a lot of fresh food, a lot of street food. Um, definitely check it out so thank you for watching we'll see what else I can come up with if you have any ideas or want to see something specific please message me and I will record it so nothing but love peace